My message today is very, very difficult, very tough, but I need to share this because there are some right now who are watching this video and you lost something or someone this year. It's like a horrible year for you because maybe you lost your job this year, you lost your business this year, or, or, or you you got heartbroken this year. Someone you love did not love back. Someone you love became unfaithful to you and, and dumped you and, and went to another person or, or a group of friends you felt that they abandoned you and they did not, they were not there. You know, maybe you're going through that right now. And yes, it's Christmas. It's supposed to be a happy time, but you still feel the pain of losing some people or you actually lost a loved one. That person died. And, and why, 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 why does it have to happen? You, you know what? I, I want you to know that, that I, I understand what you're going through. I lost my dad already. I lost my mom already. And I lost my sister. You know, these, these are the closest people in my life. God took them away. And, and yes, you know, your heart says, why? But, but, it, it, especially at a, in Christmas, you know, you kind of like think, oh, I wish that my sister would still be here, you know, because she'll be around the table and, and we'll be eating Christmas food and, and we'll be laughing together. But that chair is empty and you feel it during Christmas. And that's why I want to bring up this message to you today. What should you do? What should you do in the midst of this pain? What should you do in the midst of this loss? What should you do in the midst of that heartbreak? I'm going to answer that question right now. Hi, my name is Bo Sanchez. Welcome to Full Tank, your place of inspiration. I pray that you will be so blessed as we share the gospel for the day. John chapter 20, Mary Magdalene lost Jesus. Mary Magdalene saw Jesus, followed Jesus, gave her whole life to Jesus, and then she loses her master. And her heart is broken. And she looks and looks and looks. And lo and behold, she just wanted to weep and mourn beside the body of Jesus. And the body was missing. And she did not know what, what happened. And, 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 and maybe in her mind, she said, I just wanted to weep. And now I can't even weep beside the body. It was taken away. But, but we know the story. Jesus rises from the dead. But even when Jesus rises from the dead, he appears once, twice, three times. We don't know how many times. And then 40 days later, it goes to heaven. And Jesus is still God. But then... A shift happens in Mary Magdalene. A shift happens in the apostles. That instead of clinging on to Jesus, the physical Jesus, they began to cling to the one called the Christ. The Christ victorious. The one who is everywhere. And he's no longer a physical body, but he is there in their hearts, my dear friends. That's the shift that we need to make. Can I speak to you now? If you've experienced loss, if you've lost someone, lost something, lost your heart broken right now, let me speak to you. In my experience, when I lost my dad, my mom, my sister, when I lost uh, my friend, when I lost this, that project, when I lost my dream, when I lost this, here's my word. At that point of greatest loss, I discovered also to be the same point of my greatest victory. That at that point where I thought I was defeated the most, that was the point where I won the most. I'll tell you why. Because when something gets ripped out from your heart, when a person gets ripped out from your heart, but something gets ripped out from your heart, this creates space. And if you know what you're supposed to do, you go to God. You create space. There's space now for more of God into your life. And then when, when something gets out of your life, you're, you're, it's ripped out of your life, your identity changes. And then when you seek God and you put God there, your identity changes so much more. And you, you, became, you become more whole. You become better. You become stronger. You, you, you realize, yes, you know, my parents, my, my sister, um, I, th here's the change. I can't see them physically. But the connection between me and them is stronger than ever. I know they love me. I know they love me and they're perfect. So already in heaven so that means that their love has become perfected and I just love the fact that they're praying for me and so I am always with them always and I, I pray I, I speak God's word to you at the point of your greatest loss is the point of your greatest victory can I pray for you 
the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Father, I pray for every person watching this video. I pray for your comfort. I pray for your strength. Lord God, their heart is, 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 has, a, has a hole, has a vacuum. I pray that your presence and your love fill this heart, this broken heart. I pray that it overflow with your love. I'm claiming this right now. I'm speaking God's word into their lives. More peace, more love, more joy in Jesus' name. Amen and amen in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Thank you for joining me, guys. And I hope you join me and become a supporter because I need your help. Click that link that says support now and make it your gift to yourself for Christmas. Make it your gift for New Year that you join me in serving God and blessing the world. I will see you tomorrow. I'd like to personally thank you for being part of Full Tank, for watching the videos and for sharing the videos to your friends. But I'd like to also say thank you to those who made a decision not only to watch Full Tank, but actually support Full Tank and all our other mission work. They became supporters. If you are not yet a supporter, can I invite you? If you say yes, I want to say thank you by number one, giving you exclusive content that's only for supporters. Once in a while, I would go live and then we, we start chatting and talking about life together. And then of course, Full Tank Saturday and Full Tank Sunday exclusively for supporters. To become a supporter of Full Tank, all you have to do is click the link below the video in Facebook. There's a the button that says subscribe. If you're watching through YouTube, then use a computer, there's a button that says join, click on that, you become a supporter of Full Tank and our other mission work. And I'd like to say thank you, thank you so much for making that happen and receive our exclusive content. God bless you, thank you so much, see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for joining us. I have a favor to ask, if you have not yet done so, subscribe to this podcast because that's how these things work, you know, the algorithm, etc. Somewhere, somehow, it gets up in the ranking and then people will get to know more about it and people will listen and then people will be blessed and then the blessings will ripple and more and more people will experience God's love. Thank you again for all your support and I will see you next time.